in these degenerate times, how precious these teachings are. Everybody needs to know how to take things that harm and turn them into things that help. We can transform these five impurities into the path to world peace. Imagine if everybody could do that. At the moment, it's just our opportunity. So we need to show, uh, test it and show others. So how do we do it? Geshele says, very easy, very simple. We just change our way of thinking. That's all. Like that. We just change our way of thinking. We just think differently about these impurities and they'll turn into causes of Dharma realizations. We t change our way of thinking, change our view, change our view, change our intention, and we can transform these adverse conditions into the path to enlightenment that will lead us to pure and everlasting happiness and solve all our daily problems. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So there are many ways to do this. We're just going to learn one tonight and we'll come to it later in the section on transforming adversity uh, into the path to enlightenment. So because we're learning a universal compassion book and because the main practice of training the mind is compassion, we're going to learn how do we transform these impurities into compassion. Whenever we experience any of these five impurities, so environmental difficulty, is cold, for example, uh, or some pain in our body, some uh, sickness in our mind, deluded ways of thinking, etc., what do we do? Whenever we ourselves experience any of the five impurities, because we are suffering, immediately remember. So this is it. I would say this is our main practice for this festival. And you don't need to wait very long for the impurities to cause you some suffering. It's probably even happening right now. <laughs> so uh, this is what we need to do. And I'd like to ask all of us, why can we not do this? Now is the time to do this. Today, tomorrow, the next day. So we're experiencing some, one of these five impurities. We're suffering. Immediately remember. So this is what we're not familiar with. Immediately remember. Countless other living beings experience much greater suffering and difficulties than I do. That's it. So we need to remember something. So we're suffering some p pain in our body. Normally at that time we think, my pain, my pain. I'm cold, I'm cold. We never think about others. So our suffering has to remind us of the much worse suffering of others. We must test how this works. We move our mind onto others. Our suffering is telling us something. Ah, yes, it's reminding me. Countless living beings are experiencing much greater suffering and difficulties than I am. That will lead you to generate compassion, wishing their suffering to cease permanently. That mind is the path to enlightenment. <laughs>